For at least a couple of weeks now, people have been trying to understand Kyrie's reasoning for requesting a trade. He wants to go somewhere where he can be more of a focal point and gives a list of possible trade destinations. He lists the Snicks, he lists the Heat, he lists the Timberwolves, and he lists the Spurs. Looking at the next trade, the Cavs would most likely want to receive Carmelo Anthony and future picks, and this is impossible because Carmelo Anthony has a no trade clause, and he's expressed an interest in going to Houston and playing alongside James Harden and CP3, and he would rather play with them over LeBron James in Cleveland. I think he sees what's going on with him. So the Timberwolf trade brings out whether the Wolves are willing to give up Wiggins, who is 22 years old, and has been getting better offensively every single year. The Spurs trade is questionable because here, just like Minnesota, Kyrie wouldn't be the primary scorer, he'd be the secondary option. Miami is the strangest yet best place for Kyrie to land. The Heat haven't been able to land a star for the last few years, they missed out on Kevin Durant, they missed out on Gordon Hayward, and the Heat should go after Kyrie just to have that star player on their team. His talents would definitely outweigh other problems, and one problem I can list right now is chemistry. You have a former teammate of Kyrie who now plays for the Miami Heat, and this player is Deion Waiters, and you see how he turned out. Deion Waiters had one of the best outputs of his career. Deion Waiters became a clutch player and Deion Waiters and Kyrie were known to have had their problems when they played together in Cleveland. It was said according to sources that Deion believed that he was a better player than Kyrie. He also accused Kyrie and Thompson of not passing the ball during his tenure in Cleveland. This trade would shake things up in the Eastern Conference and so here are reasons why I believe Miami is a good destination spot for Kyrie Irving. Especially if the Caps go through with a trade not involving Whiteside. I feel like I've talked about Whiteside a lot. Maybe it's all the Whiteside comments I've been seeing recently. Whatever it is, Whiteside will be the best center Kyrie will have ever played with in his entire career. And I mean this outside of US competition or all-star games. Kyrie has played with Tristan Thompson, Anderson Verjao, Timofey Mozgov, Tyler Zeller, and, and Andrew Bynum at the tail end of his career. Kyrie is an amazing ball handler, best handles anyone has seen in a while, and a good big man would complement this. You should look at guard big man tandems around the NBA. There's Jackson and Drummond, Thomas and Horford, Conley and Gasol, and these duos are good because they make it easier for the other whether it's a drive and kick pick and pop or a lot they also make it easier for teammates because they usually attract a lot of attention offensively but out of the big man that i listed that played with Kyrie, all of them except bynum and zeller had their best years when playing with lebron james and in my opinion i believe that all Kyrie needs to be successful is someone who won't get in his way right side will be the perfect role man for Kyrie, and Kyrie added 62.5 in offensive value when being a pick and roll handler in the 2016 2017 NBA season. And Kyrie is also the pick and roll handler 34% of the time, which allows for Whiteside to either cut, post up, or isolate. It's a scary thing thinking about these two playing together. I mean, Hassan Whiteside is one of the best defensive centers in the league, so Kyrie will barely have to worry about defense. There's also the system and the culture that the Miami Heat instill in their players. It will take some just for Kyrie to be the guy for the Miami Heat. He'll need to buy into everything that the Miami Heat and it shouldn't be hard because a lot of players that have come in have bought into the system the culture if you look at the miami heats roster all of these guys are almost all of these guys are dedicated to the franchise and are willing to put in the work and this applies to every single thing that they do put in work at home put in work on the court miami build their players with a good solid work ethic Kyrie is an excellent finisher but we haven't seen him execute further the Miami system should be able to fix this Kyrie could learn to drive and kick and become a much better player in this system the Heat's offense differed from the first half of the season to the second half of the season that's what the staff is trying to capitalize on they're trying to capitalize on the second half of the season where the team played a fast up-tempo pace that spaced the floor with shooters around Hassan Whiteside they re-signed everyone that was on the 2016-2017 roster and added Kelly Bam at a bio and aj hammonds i'm not totally sure what the culture is but whatever it is it turns players careers around it makes players believe they can do anything the mere presence of pat riley is enough to do it he has nine rings and riley uses rings his attitude about winning to influence the players to come to miami the waiters became the second coming of Dwayne wade dawson became an elite player in miami he averaged around 13 points per game five rebounds per game and shot 48 percent from the field and i honestly think the miami heat culture is what Kyrie saw when he requested a trade and outside of minnesota all the franchises on this list have extensive history they have won championships they've had all-time greats play for them maybe Kyrie wants to be the next all-time great for the miami heat franchise and so you have Kyrie wanting to be the man in miami he said something about being the focal point going to miami he'll get enough touches the doors are open to him in miami if he wishes to take the reins they will be handed to him in cleveland Kyrie was robin 
Everyone looked at LeBron as the reason the Cavs were even relevant. When Kyrie signed the contract worth five years, $94 million, he didn't know LeBron was coming back to Cleveland, Ohio. At the time, Irving was probably thinking, I'm 22, we're getting a new coach who loves ball movement. We just drafted Andrew Wiggins. We're looking good for the future. Maybe I could be the man here. And Cavs would have possibly finished bottom the conference yet again and would have gotten another lottery pick with the ninth. They would have possibly drafted Frank Kaminsky because the team would have definitely needed primary shooting, especially with the players they had on the roster. Kaminsky would step in right away and contribute right next to Tristan Thompson. Kyrie could have developed on his own and could have become a leader for the Cleveland Cavaliers. But unfortunately, his development was accelerated. In the year that LeBron came back, the Cavs went 53 and 29 and finished second in the Eastern Conference. A year that Kyrie should have been using, he was using competing for an NBA championship. Instead of getting maybe 30 wins, he was getting 50 plus playing with LeBron James. I think Kyrie saw what was happening with the organization and thought it was better for him to leave. The David Griffin incident, the current roster, Kyrie knew this would hold his career back. LeBron had never went to the Cavs. The Cavs would have a young core that could take over the East in the future. It they could possibly be competing with the Bucks, the Sixers, and the Celtics right now, or a year from now. But everything changed because of one player's decision. LeBron James wanted to return home. He wanted to bring a ring to the land, and he did, but he changed so much. And Kyrie, he's on his way out because of the decision of one player. If this decision was never made, Kyrie would still want to be a Cleveland Cavalier. Just think about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is Zapsy. I really didn't try to list a lot of reasons. Obviously, weather is up there. That's a good reason, but that just be adding and adding. There's just so much stuff you can add to this. The weather, the chicks in Miami. He, he loves his chicks. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smack the like button and subscribe for more content. This is Zapsy. See you guys in another one.